Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Don't Laugh at My Romance, also known as Sex is No Laughing Matter, a Japanese romance from 2007 that stars Kenichi Matsuyama, Hiromi Nagazaku, and Yu Aoi. Now, Blume, played by Kenichi Matsuyama, is a 19-year-old college student who falls in love with Yuri, played by Hiromi Nagazaku, an almost 40-year-old teacher at the university. Now, Yuri is not your typical college professor, having a quirky sense of humor and unpredictable personality. Now, when Yuri invites Murume to her studio, she playfully seduces the naive 19-year-old student. Meanwhile, a fellow classmate played by Yu Aoi becomes jealous. Now, I recently reviewed a film called Asako and Ruby Shoes the other day, and I mentioned how that film could rub some mainstream viewers the wrong way. Well, Don't Laugh at My Romance is even more egregious in this regard. This is thoroughly arthouse in its sensibilities. Pacing is as slow as molasses in frickin' January, and most of the film is simply characters hanging out with each other. They're talking, just sitting around, maybe smooching a little bit, you know? Plus, the runtime is over two hours long, so I can see a lot of people getting bored by this film. Uh, there's also a certain immorality to the main romantic relationship in this film, which could also rub some viewers the wrong way. However, I actually enjoy this movie quite a bit. It's going to be kind of a hard sell, but I'm going to try my best. <laughs> First of all, Hiromi Nagazaku is one of the best Japanese actresses alive today. First time I saw her, from what I remember, was in the Kyoshi Kurosawa film Doppelganger, and she immediately made an impression on me. Uh, I very much enjoyed her performances in uh, Funuke Show Me Some Love, You Losers, The Clone Returns Home, and The Furthest End Awaits. But I think Rebirth, the 2011 film, could be the best performance of her career. She's done a lot of good stuff over the years, and her acting in Don't Laugh at My Romance is very grounded, but slightly immature, I would say. She gives her character a sense of carelessness. It's almost like like, she doesn't care about the consequences of her actions, having this, uh, you know, scandalous affair with this college student, uh, you know, despite the fact that she's an instructor who's pushing 40. Now, Kenichi Matsuyama, he's a good actor. I like him. Uh, I liked him in the Death Note films from 2006, uh, Ten Nights of Dreams, Detroit Metal City, and Rage. But he has had a few underwhelming performances in his career as well. He's good in this film, plays his character in a straightforward manner, but I think that was necessary. And then we have Yu Aoi, who is also an outstanding actress. This role, very similar to her earlier stuff. Impressive, but limited in a supporting role, supporting part. Still, she gets enough screen time to make an impression here. Now, there's definitely like a sexual tension that's expressed in a very classy way in this film. This movie portrays the feel of like steamy private escapades without having to show the actual act of sex itself. So there's no actual sex scenes in this film. But you still get that feel of uh, sexual tension there. There's certainly some craftsmanship in this. And there's even a bit of nuance in the character interaction at times. You know, it changes a bit as the film rolls along. We even get a change in perspective during the middle section that allows us to look more closely at Yu Aoi's character and what she's thinking about the situation. I like the way the film looks. It has a very soft visual feel that's uh, similar to many Asian films from the 2000s. You know, there's a certain haziness uh, to the visuals in this. Must have been the cameras they were using. But the story is also set during the chilly months, and everyone is kind of wearing, uh, like, clothing, and they're very frequently trying to warm up, you know, in the cold weather. So, like, the soft visuals kind of complements the, the, uh, the seasonal setting. And to be honest, I think it's difficult to, to kind of convince people to watch this film, <laughs> while at the same time warning them that the pacing is glacial. But I do need to emphasize, you know, don't laugh at my romance. It meanders, and it's fairly uneventful for the most part. So you need to understand that before deciding to watch it. But again, I like it, and I find it kind of refreshing to, 
to watch like a really laid back film like this sometimes. Kind of a nice palate cleanser from the usual stuff that gets released. It's been kind of a while before I saw a film quite like this. Uh, so it, it definitely kind of hit the spot for me somehow. But again, I'm just warning you <laughs> about the pacing. So if you think you might like it, if you like films that are kind of like this, you check it out. It's currently available streaming on Asian Crush. And as always, we'll see you next time.